Okay, what is going on CyberX YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. As always, if you're interested in learning about cryptocurrencies, commodities, indices, and foreign exchange, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. In today's video breakdown, we're gonna cover some XRP topics, interesting articles, tweets, and I'm also gonna go over some price action for you all on a trade that I'm currently floating in on XRP, where I had mentioned to you guys, if we break above the 75 cent region, we are going to smoothly transition up into the 80 to 82 cent region potentially even up into the 85 cent high over here to the left hand side, which I will go over this price action towards the end of this video. So make sure that you stick around for that if these video breakdowns have been helping you all out. Understand price action better and give you all a fundamental perspective of the market. Make sure that you smash that like button. It does help boost the YouTube algorithm significantly. Really do appreciate the love and the support. Um, so covering this Twitter, now I didn't even realize how many Twitter followers I had. If you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, you're more than welcome to. I think I'll start to be a little bit more active on Twitter. I haven't been in a couple of uh, months. It's been quite a while. Um, now, my Twitter play page blew up when I started CyberX. A lot of people follow me because of the consistency that I post in the market on my Instagram, all of the call outs that I make in the foreign exchange market. I did a program where I called out um, you know, accurate targets for 12 consecutive weeks in a row, and that kind of blew up my Instagram as well as my Twitter account, all right? But, so I thought that I'd start tweeting again, um, and I tweeted this today about 30 minutes ago. Now, this was a picture that I found on the internet, and I'm not too entirely sure the source, okay? But I thought that it was very interesting. JP Morgan said, Ripple's XRP has been largely successful at accomplishing its goal of reducing fees and transaction times associated with money transfers. If the company is able to win the SEC lawsuit and trading resumes on major cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase, which, by the way, I released a video, I believe, two months ago on the potentiality of this happening. I don't even know if that's a word, potentiality. Um, XRP is poised for a significant adoption. So I thought that the way that they ended this, again, paying attention to key phrases, okay, and um, key words, okay, significant adoption, which I've already gone over in previous YouTube videos as well, is what's going to happen if bank and institutions get regulatory clarity. They are sitting on the sidelines right now with their hands in their pockets waiting to dump money into XRP and other digital assets, okay? <clears throat> so that would be very interesting to see. Uh, this is a article from ambicrypto.com and it reads, assessing whether you should be worried about XRP's long-term price. Now, I'm not gonna read through this entire article, but I do want you all to pay attention to specific dates. I put out a video in around maybe December of last year where I told you guys all of the hype on XRP, it's not happening anytime soon. You guys know that I like calling out these YouTubers that have been telling you all since November of 20, November 27th, 2021 is when we started the downtrend or the retracement on XRP. And I've been telling you guys that all the YouTubers that have been filling your guys' head with hopium, making you guys buy at these highs, you guys need to unfollow them and learn technical analysis properly. But we can see here, the never ending Ripple SEC lawsuit might just have a potential deadline in a filing related to its pending class action dated 23rd, February, 2022. Ripple reportedly agreed to a new date of 18 November, 2022. For all the people that have been following my YouTube page, okay, none of these new updates should be surprise or should be a surprise to you because I've been telling you guys that XRP is not going to see new all-time highs in a bullish rally until the end of this year, where now we can see the dates are linking up. And that video that I released about ISO 222 and the banking institutions having to be fully integrated from November 2022 up until November 2025, I'd mentioned to you guys that that is when we're going to see a fully integrated, fully outpaced cryptocurrency market flip and go back to the upside, okay? And look here, now we can see everything is kind of linking up. Again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I do believe that everything in the market happens for a reason. Manipulation does exist, and the elites do know what is going on behind the scenes, and every date that they pick, every single specific price movement that they make in the market is already pre-programmed and pre-identified in the market ahead of time. And I've been attempting to teach you guys that here on this YouTube channel, okay? I do that in my trading, I do that with the foreign exchange markets, and that has made me a profitable trader. So I'm gonna consistently keep doing that, okay? Why would you change what works for you already in the markets, okay? And now I'm just trying to convey that to people so that way you can start to see the manipulation behind all the smart money in this market. Okay, um, interesting tweet from John Deaton. He tweeted out 14 hours ago. Um, he said, I tweeted out several weeks ago that I believe the executive order was going to be negative towards crypto. My friend BC Baker took the opposite view. I said I would be happy to publicly admit I was wrong, so I can honestly say I am happy to admit I was wrong. So, very interesting tweet from John Deaton. We saw that the executive order from 
Uh, Joe Biden's administration came out positive for cryptocurrency. A lot of interesting things were covered there. Maybe I'll take a couple of snapshots and highlights from significant things that I found interesting in the executive order. There was a lot of a lot of manipulation in the executive order. A lot of people taking screenshots and um, you know rewriting the executive order, which I'm pretty sure is illegal to do, and then tweeting it. Uh, and then acting as if it mentioned XRP and things of that nature, which didn't happen. If you guys see that tweet from that from that Twitter page, I'm not even going to show that on my page because that's false news and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to share that. Okay, you're probably going to see some of these other YouTubers share that tweet. Mark my words, I guarantee you another another YouTuber that covers XRP is going to post that tweet. Okay, and then I will call it out. OK, just just to prove a point. But I saw the tweet where the executive order was manipulated into it saying that XRP was mentioned in it. It wasn't. And I believe it was in Section 4, Section I of the executive order where some Twitter follower posted that XRP was mentioned. That is not true. OK, so I will I will highlight some things in the executive order that I found interesting. And again, if you guys want to follow my Twitter, it is C Domenicor. Um, you guys can go ahead and follow that and I will start tweeting again for you all. Maybe some potential price predictions on GPPJPY as well as XRP and Casper. And then moving forward, maybe some other motivational stuff as well. So another Twitter page that I don't follow, at least I don't think I do. Maybe I'll follow. Okay, maybe I do follow. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'll follow him. Um, anyway, this is from Adam Davidson. It is now official U.S. government policy that cryptocurrencies are a key part of our global competitiveness and also need to be regulated. It is time to move away from simplistic pro or anti arguments. Crypto is here. It is growing. It is good. It's bad. It's complex. Okay. I thought that that was very interesting. I thought that I'd share that with you all. Very interesting key phrases. We see here, crypto is here and it is growing. Um, and that we need to have and steer away from pro or anti arguments. We just need to sit on our hands and wait for the institutional money to come flooding into this market as investors. We can't do anything in the market except that anyways, okay? We don't control the market price action movements. All we can do is speculate. We can read technical analysis properly and hope to capitalize on discounted prices, which you know I completely attempt to mentor people into teaching them how to do, okay? Instead of watching these YouTube videos that are telling you that XRP is bullish every day, so they'll, pro they'll post a bullish video on March 1st, right? And because there's a rally on XRP, you as a retail investor that doesn't know too much about technical analysis will go and you'll buy this top. You'll put $1,000 into XRP and then three days later, you'll come back to your investment and you'll be like, well, why, did, why is there only $750 in my XRP bag right now? And you'll think that cryptocurrency is a scam. Stop doing that. We can clearly see here the proper technical analysis way to have analyzed this market and get in, which I will get into in just one second in this position I took. But if you guys are looking to invest in cryptocurrency, I highly suggest because of the way that things are going to revolutionize in the future that you learn technical analysis. Even if you're not going to be an active scalper, intraday trader or day trader, I highly suggest you take it upon yourself to learn technical analysis from either a mentor who teaches it properly like myself or somebody else that you can potentially find that's not filling your head with false hopes and dreams on a day-to-day -day basis like 90% of people, okay? Coming over here to this article that I thought that I'd share with you guys, sorry for going on that rant, it just bothers me and ticks my nerves that, uh, you know, people are just, man, it's insane, the manipulation in the markets right now. But this is from you today, and the article reads, XRP lawsuit Ripple's upcoming court decision might be revealed as soon as the end of March, says John Deaton. So we've seen a lot of articles saying August. We've seen a lot of articles saying September. Now John Deaton saying that the ruling could be the end of this month. Who realistically knows what's going to happen? Again, what I think that is the best we can do as retail traders is sit on our hands and hope to capitalize on getting in at discounted prices. I know where I'm purchasing XRP at. I know where my long-term holdings sit at. And I know what price levels I'm looking for if... XRP does hit those price targets, okay? But we see here the six-month list could guarantee rulings by the end of this month. John Deaton tweeted out. I thought that that was interesting that I'd share with you guys. He tweeted that out yesterday, okay? And then we also see here you today. I'll go ahead and I'll click on this article. Terra Luna flips XRP as price soars 27%. I had mentioned this as a possibility to you guys uh, the other day when I released a video and we see here exactly what I said was going to happen. Terra Luna flipped XRP for the sixth spot, put 
XRP in the seventh spot. Now the question is, is if XRP doesn't come to a settlement anytime soon and a lot of more stipulations surrounding the SEC litigation comes under fruition, Cardano could potentially push XRP down into the eighth spot. And, uh, you know, we could see another dump or pullback on XRP if we don't get that bullish rally that I'm personally expecting to happen and take place on XRP, which I'll go over in just one second. Last but not least, I thought that I'd give you guys, before we go over to the technical analysis aspect of this video, a little update on what is going on in Russia and Ukraine. I found these articles and I thought them to be very interesting and that I'd share them with you guys, not to put foot in the market or anything like that, but just to keep you guys aware. Moscow says that the U.S. has declared economic war on Russia. Russia will defend its interests, needs to make a deep analysis of the situation regarding the U.S. energy ban. Fighting words from Russia, and they are seemingly ready to respond in due kind. We will see what lists will compromise of and whether or not we will add further volatility to this week. Again, talking about the market. So let's see, again, the Russian headlines surrounding what's going on in Ukraine is moving the markets right now, okay? A lot of fear in the markets is still anticipatingly lingering, okay, over the market sentiment right now. We see here another article from Reuters.com. You guys can go sift through this one, but we see here Kremlin tells United States it awaits for a response to economic war. I thought that that was very interesting. So I thought that I'd share that these two articles with you guys. You guys can go sift through those if you'd like. Going over to the technical analysis aspect real fast before we end this video. I had mentioned to you guys in the previous XRP video that we could see a potential break above the 75 cent region. Now this is the area that we need to hold in the form of bullish support above in order to see any type of bullish rally. We have now made a new significant swing high on XRP. So considering the fact, the void from my technical analysis that we've made a new bullish leg, we need to hold above the 71 cent region, which I'll mark that off for you guys. We need to hold above the 71 cent region. We could get a pullback on XRP down into the maybe 72 to 73 cent region. Since this bullish rally just took place, the market is going to need to take a breather. But overall, again, we need to break above the significant 75 cent region to see any further bullish transactions on XRP take place. My first initial bullish target on XRP is the 80 cent region for this current position that I'm currently operating in right now. Further than that, I'm looking for the 92 cent range to come and get tapped into where we could see the liquidity above these highs get taken. If we do break above that range with significance and bullish momentum, we are most likely going to push above a dollar to smash into those targets that I've been calling out to you guys at $1.05 to $1.15. Once we come into those areas, we need to be mindful of the liquidity and how price reacts to those areas. We need to be questioning any um, leverage positions we have because if the market starts to pull back aggressively, okay, um, then we need to be mindful that I've been mentioning to you guys that we do, in my personal opinion, need to come down and clear out some liquidity beneath the 55 cent region. I've been telling you guys that for quite some time. I'm still holding strong to that stance where I think that XRP is going to have a very drastic drop in price randomly. I don't think it's going to hold below those levels for a long time. I think that it's going to be a day's worth of price action where XRP is just going to dump. It's going to dump, it's going to liquidate those lows, and then it is going to reverse bullish back to the highs. But the question is, is will you be ready for that if that does happen? Again, this isn't investing advice. I know what I'm looking for on the charts, okay? So to go over this trade real fast, again, learning technical analysis properly can save you all a lot of money, okay? It's not financial advice. I'm letting you guys know that 90% of people in this market read the statistics, okay? Go look at the actual statistics that 90% of people enter into the wrong spot in the market because they're not learning how to read technical analysis properly. They have no idea what they're looking at, okay? We see here, Asia session, okay? Same thing that I teach you guys, just paying attention to manipulation, not even going into extreme detail. We see what? We see sellers in this area, buyers in this area, prior to 8.30 a.m. Tokyo session, okay? Again, prior to 8.30 a.m. in every single session, 8.30 a.m. Tokyo, 8.30 a.m. London, and 8.30 a.m. New York, manipulation happens prior to those times in every single session, okay? So what do we see here? Early sellers, early buyers. What does the market do? It liquidates those early buyers by tapping into the lows here, the sell stops that would be beneath these lows, and the buy positions in the form of leveraged positions that were beneath these lows from early investors into the market that were premature to the rally that took place. Same thing here. What can we see? London session, early sellers prior to 8.30, and early buyers. 
prior to 8.30. What did the market makers do? They came, they pushed into some of that liquidity. I guarantee you the spreads increased right here during this drop, during New York session, and then we see the market rally. Paying attention to New York, what do we see? Early sellers, early buyers. Same price action, the market makers came and dipped into that liquidity. Now, why Covian and order block traders and all that stuff will sit here and, and label all of this crap with STs, SPYs, tests, springs, all of this crap. You don't need to even understand any of that stuff. Any Wycovian book that you could potentially read will even tell you that paying attention to labeling charts like that is a waste of time. All you need to understand is manipulation in the market, okay? You need to understand time in the market. You need to understand how price reacts to liquidity and what to look for specifically once it does react to liquidity. And what can we see here? What it is that I teach on the YouTube channel, okay? Early sellers, early buyers. The market dips into those early buy positions, internal liquidity in this area prior to New York session where people were anticipating the market move, whether that was an up or down move, they were anticipating what the market was gonna do. The market grabbed buy anticipation, then it grabbed sell anticipation. But what can we see here? We see that the market failed to create a new swing low, so this has to be identified as a higher low. From that higher low, we reject the psychological level, which was 71 and a half cents. I'll go ahead and I'll mark that off for you guys. Again, not getting into extreme detail on how to react to price at the psychological levels, but we can see here to the T, this was a psychological level, 71,500. Again, what it is that I teach the CyperX students in advanced detail on the mentorship program. Okay. We see a bullish reaction that leads to a break in structure. Now, just based off what I teach you guys on the YouTube channel, all you would have had to do is after the market grabbed liquidity, we can even refine this a little bit. We can see that this is a swing low right here that the market reacted to. The market created a higher low in comparison to the range that we were operating in from A. I'll mark that off for you guys from A. Into B, creating a new high. Okay, we're operating inside of this bullish range. Okay, again, looking at structure, we see higher high, higher low, higher high formation. Then the market pulled back, made a higher low that led to a market break in structure. Now we have to assume that because the market is respecting bullish order flow, creating the definition of an uptrend, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, what are we gonna do if we wanna get in on the moving trend? We're not gonna buy at the highs. We need to wait for a discounted price where we know the bank and institutions like to purchase from and add to their orders. Their orders being the previous lows, i.e. where order block traders trade order blocks from and all of that jazz, right? All of that fancy jargon that you don't need to fill your head with. Okay, so all we needed to do was take our Fibonacci from the low after the grab of liquidity to the high that broke structure, wait for a discounted pullback, boom, 70 to 79% discount stops beneath the significant low and you're targeting your Fibonacci extensions. As you guys can see, those profits were met. I'm currently floating in this position, absolutely beautiful trade, okay? I mean, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with understanding technical analysis, all right? Blessings to you guys all. I hope that you enjoyed this video breakdown. Again, anybody that is interested in that mentorship, the link is in the description down below. We are very close to finding a spot for the trading floor. It's just a matter of time. When we do open up that trading floor, all the students will have full and complete access to the trading floor. You guys can go and follow me on Twitter. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Really do appreciate the love and the support. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps boost the YouTube algorithm as well. Everybody take it easy. As always, be safe, be cognizant, and I will see you guys in the next video breakdown.